Being Eyewitness News at 11 on WUTR. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 11. The New York State Board of Regents voting to update its regulations when it comes to definitions relating to corporal punishment. Capital correspondent Jamie DeLine has that story. Corporal punishment is not legal in New York schools, which is when physical force is used on a student for discipline. On Monday, the New York Board of Regents voted to further update its regulations, making it clear what constitutes corporal punishment and what doesn't. For example, if a teacher was trying to protect a, himself or herself uh, from a student who is lunging at the teacher um, or a student lunging at another student, um, any type of restraint that would be involved in that interaction would not constitute corporal punishment because you'd be protecting another human being. In the past, a student could be restrained if they were causing damage to physical property. If we had someone who knocked over a filing cabinet or knocked over a desk, if, if a child had done that, then the, the staff or the faculty if properly trained, were technically able to restrain that child. Um, and now that's been taken away. The New York State Education Department released a statement saying in part, quote, the department's updated regulations continue to prohibit the use of corporal punishment and aversive interventions inconsistent with federal guidance at a prohibition on the use of seclusion. It, it really basically, you know, follows a whole bunch of studies that indicate that when you put uh, kids in secluded rooms, you lock the door, you, you know, you, you place them in a position where you are, you know, really engaging in a whole bunch of potential emotional harm. Um, and the state is indicating that that's just not in any way, shape or form pedagogically appropriate. The New York State Education Department says the changes were based on reports of corporal punishment from school districts, state and federal guidance and local and national reporting on trauma experienced by students. Leslie Silva, a partner at Tully Rinky, says the definition of corporal punishment was vague and these new regulations will close legal loopholes. Schools are going to have to tell the Department of Education, you know, what's been going on, what they've been doing, if they've had to use any restraint or seclusion. Uh, and that's really important because we didn't have that data collection before. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine. Numbers released today by the Office of State